I hate you. And I hate you as well, and you as well, and you. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Doke, and today I'll share with you seven things I hate about being an artist. If I don't count my early kid drawings, my artistic journey started in 2007 when I tried graffiti for the first time. Seven years later, meanwhile I was studying math and economics on university, I started to share my art on this YouTube channel and I started to feel like an artist. Sort of. So for a great portion of my life, I was making art. But I was also a mad guy. In 2018, I finished the university as a proud engineer of actuarial science, which is not really important because right after the university, I decided to go the artistic way. But the math guy is still inside me. So this is a brief background around me. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to involve things that you hate about it. Numero uno. I always see mistakes every single time. You know, art is here to make us happy. But sometimes I'm wondering how can I be happy when I finish my work and I always see the mistakes. Even when I paint something what I really like. I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, this is this is great. I feel amazing. Then I take a picture of it. I'm on my way home. I take a look at that picture and boom. One, two, three, I see mistakes. I didn't see them before, but right now I see them. And when I find some mistakes, my eyes are always looking just at these mistakes. Although I think that I did a great job, these mistakes are just... Mm. Yeah, you're never 100% satisfied. I know that it is the reason to work even harder, to get even better. And I know that after all these years of painting, I should just get used to it, but still. I'm dreaming about the day when I see absolutely no mistakes. Number two, what's right and what's wrong. Although when I studied math, I hated a lot of things about it. But in math, you know exactly what's correct and what isn't. In art, well, who knows? If you mess your artwork, you can always call it dirty or you can say that that's my style, you know, I, li I, I like it like this. Although it looks like a shit, but yeah, who cares? Another example, let's say that you're choosing a color combo for your art. You have unlimited number of possibilities. Some of them are clearly wrong, but five billion others, well, who knows? There's this thing called color theory. But what if you are a rebel and you don't care about something like a color theory? Well then, I guess that you are the true artist. Basically, if you like it, then it is okay, right? If it makes you happy, great, okay. But if you are not sure if you like it or not, um, what do you do then? Sometimes I wish art is more like a map. I wish I know what's correct and I know the exact way how to get there. Number three, when it's the time to stop. I truly hate this. I never know when it's time to stop. I never say yes. This is the last line that this artwork needed. Most of the time I do 80% of the painting in let's say two hours. And then for the next two hours, I play with the last 20% of, of the details and the adjustments, all these things that I'm not really sure if you even see these small changes, but yeah, most of the time I'm like, hmm. I didn't do enough or I'm like, uh, okay, this, this is too much. It's so easy to overdo your artwork or to keep it looking unfinished. Regarding this point, I have to mention one of my favorite art quotes. Perfection is the enemy of good. If you get stuck in perfection, you will never be good. And right now we are coming to a little bit more serious hate, hateful, hatefulness. Hate, number, number four doubt. I know that most of you are young, you see art just as a hobby, you don't do this for a living, but maybe you would like to. Maybe it is your dream job to be an artist. Well, if this is the case for you, you will meet the good old friend of every single artist. The doubt. Crushing, hopeless doubt. Even when you are doing well, even when you are being paid well for your work, 
there's that feeling that at any moment it can all fall apart and everything will be over forever ever and ever i actually stole this sentence from a blog but it's 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 so true it's hard to get excited about anything because of the constant feeling that you're walking on a really narrow roof and you can fall down any minute you know we have all seen these stories about such a great artists who are so so awesome for two years and then they just disappeared as an artist you feel like you have no security one of the things that is bothering me is that i've been studying for five years but no one will ever employ me as an actuary when the only thing that i was doing after the school was art and making videos on the other hand when i imagine myself in an office sitting behind some numbers it doesn't really sound exciting i was always laughing at artists when i was young because they were always they always seemed so depressed to me now i know why yeah, the feeling of doubt can sometimes really consume you and paralyze you. And right now, one of my favorites, number five, no one understands what you do. I'm a graffiti artist who makes YouTube videos. Perfectly understandable, right? Nope. In general, people don't understand this at all. When I say it to somebody, most of the time people are like, ah, okay, so YouTube you are a you youtuber that's the better case but most of the time they are just quiet and they are thinking like uh -huh, okay uh -huh, so, so you're an idiot okay okay sometimes it is quite frustrating when people don't understand you don't understand what you do if you are a doctor you know everyone knows what you do but if you say that you are a graffiti artist who makes youtube videos eh. and even though we artists are a little bit weird sometimes we want to be understanded we want people to understand what we do we want people to think oh yeah you are an artist nice i mean okay there's no need for understanding from everybody but when even i'm sometimes wondering like who am i am i a graffiti artist or am i just an artist who makes youtube videos who am i it leads to well depression Okay, no, I I'm kidding. It leads to stupid questions from people, such as, you don't have a job? You basically don't work, right? Ah, so we have a lot of free time. So we like drawing, huh? Can you do this for me? Can you draw this for me? For free. You know, I mean, you like to draw, so you'll do it for free, right? How do you make money? Číslo šest. Someone is always better than you. Hate it or love it, someone will be always better than you. It isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's inspiring. It might motivate you to get better, to reach his level, to practice even harder. But yeah, the fact is that we artists, we like to compete. And comparing yourself with someone else was never easier than today, thanks to likes and views. You might think that you are good, but then you suddenly find someone on Instagram who's just crushing it. He's so much better than you, and he has much more likes than you. And you're like, uh, okay, I'll never ever reach his level. Or you find someone who's much worse than you, but he has much more attention. And you're like, why? How? Put the sketching bag over there, okay? Not a good feelings at all. I know what you want to say. Ah, don't take a look at these things. Don't look at the others. It's all about you and your art. Na 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 na. Bullshit. If you are an artist who depends on social media, which today is basically every single artist, you need to care because the numbers make a difference between living and starving. Which gets me to a super important point. Number seven, you can't just paint just let me draw just let me paint that's a sentence that i love to repeat in my head especially when i try to create some crazy idea for a new youtube video just let me paint whatever i want and call the video graffiti painting number 367 well actually you know what i don't even want to record a video of the painting you know we artists we can't be just artists 
we can't do just the thing that we love the most. We can't just paint or, or sing or whatever you like the most. In this era, we also need to know how to present our work, how to record a video, how to do Instagram, how to be interesting, how to trigger people's attention, how to write titles, how to make awesome thumbnails, how to do a business, etc, etc, etc. We need to hustle, hustle hard. You might have the greatest art in the world, but if you don't hustle, you have nothing. You probably won't succeed. A lot of artists just don't get this. And that's the reason why are they damn good in painting, but no one really notices them. Although I like to record videos. I wouldn't record at least two videos every single week. It's kind of hard to record a meaningful video and paint a great piece at the same time. Especially if you have a schedule like me. But that's the hustle. That's what brought me where I am right now. That brought me to this point where I'm standing over here and I can fall down any minute. Before I tell you my bonus hateful thing, I just wanted to say that I'm doing great. I'm not having a hard time. Everything's going super good right now. That doesn't mean that these things that I just talked about are not there. They'll be always there. And I think that the most important advice we should all have in our heads is that it is okay. You know, when I left school and I started to do this full time, I had this mindset that everything will be great, that I will just do things that I love and yeah, perfect world. But perfect world doesn't exist. There are times when you feel down, there are times when you are scared and the worst thing that you can do is to feel bad that you even have these feelings. To think something like, but I'm an artist, I always wanted to be an artist. I shouldn't feel bad, I should feel awesome all the time. No. So I believe that it is important to accept it and to just enjoy it. And right now my bonus hateful point. I talked about this point so many times and I hate him the most out of all the points that I just say. And it is the weather! That was not really impressive, right? Yeah, I truly hate the weather. He's always there, always ready to destroy my day. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what's your background and what do you hate? All right? And yeah, also, thumb up, as always, would be awesome. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.